Hello and welcome back to the second episode on the Ford Transit build. We are on Saturday morning now and I'm going to go through what we've done through the week and what I've hopefully got planned for this weekend. So what I'll do now is I'll turn these around and we'll go and have a look at what's been done. So the first thing we've got done is all the kitchen doors and drawers are in now. So still need a little bit of adjustment on them but we've got doors and drawers through there and four drawers down this side and obviously the true has going in there which was mentioned in the last one we've got the bed frame in place still need that obviously needs painting still up the top We've got the first of the overheads built in there, all hinged up, doors on, needs the stairs put onto it. In the back, as you can see, we've got a few changes in there, which I'll go around and show you now. As you can see here, one of the shower walls is out, which has been being painted. Um, just on the seat side of it so it's obviously easier to get in to do it we're going to be looking to get this overhead built now well to this weekend to try and get this done the other job that we've got sorted this week is in there just down there you can see there's been a new alternator fitted to the van so we've had that done so if we move around to the back, we've got the bed frame in, I'll just lift these up there, the main bed frame's in, the insert's been painted black, it's going to match the ceiling with the cladding onto it as well, same will happen on that side. The cabinet has been in and fitted around the bed support along the back there. So that's in, not fixed, it's just in to sit into place. And this side, we've got the backboard for where all the electrics are going on to. So that's the main backboard in and painted and the unit will be built around that. Had all the electrics out and laid on to it. So they're all there, ready to be fixed up and starting to get them wired in. And in here, that's the other shower wall, which has been painted black again. Just obviously, it's just going on the seat side, so it's just keeping it dark. So plans for this weekend is to try and get some of the electrics done. Get the two cabinets out, the wall in the kitchen, and start getting them filled and sanded. Get a first coat of primer onto them and just basically see what, we, what else we can get done this weekend. So I'll keep coming back into this over the next couple of days, well the next couple of hours, sorry, and we'll see what we get done. So we've got the wall unit stripped down, hinges off, everything's been sanded to give it a, just about ready for the first coat of paint. Been using the Wagner, Flexio 600 seems to be working all right. So we're going to give this one a coat of paint now, and then we'll get it ready for once it's dry. It can be any infections can be sanded, holes can be filled, and we'll just check the quality before it gets its second coat. So we're going to do that now. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's it all sprayed. Easy as that, a few little scuffs on it, but it'll all be sanded down. To be fair, I can't fault this sprayer. I've used it a few times now on different different things and it's great as long as you get the settings right. So that's that. What we'll do is we'll come back to this once it's dry. We'll get some fuller, fuller. Bleh. Get some filler put into the holes and then we'll move, we can get it sanded, get a second coat on it, then we can get some colour onto it. Next job we're going to get tied up is the panelling on the back of this seat box. Now, I'm being able to do this because I needed to find out exactly where the seat was finishing once the bed timber, like the board, was in for that. So I haven't been able to get in exact position until now. So we're going to put panelling around the same as this on this back section on here. I've already cut them, which I will quickly set you up on the tripod and I'll show you what I've done. Right, this is the panels all in place. Scraped in around this door frame and set the other three in there. So this is it, set now ready for fixing, sand and filling. I'd already cut these uh, to prepare them, but I've got this end one to fit still. So I'm going to take this out now, take it over to the bench, get it all fixed up, cut the end panel, get some filler onto it. So that's um, nailed on now. Cut this end panel in. Follow the shape to cover all the end grains. So we've got that in there and this panel is all glued and fixed on now. So I'm going to get some filler mixed. Be using this filler, it's a two part filler. Uh, use it at work quite a bit so I know this one's all right. Um, got the wall unit out now so that's going to get filled. And we'll fill this one, get what we can see filled, give it a coat of paint and see what else we find and go from there. So I'm going to mix the filler, get these two ready and I'll come back to you soon. That's all the filling done on this unit, all the way around the edge. It's on quite thick to try and cover all the joints but it'll all sand back. This unit's also been done. Got the corners done, the joins, all the nail holes. A few bits on the other side as well that had been missed. So that one's done. So them two are now ready to be sanded back. And then hopefully that's good for a second coat. Right, we're leaving this video here. It's not been the most interesting, but who wants to watch another 10, 15 minutes of sand and fill and painting? So it's been just kind of to show what the prep works like. We'll be moving on to some bigger jobs, the overhead, like the over cab unit and some, well, we'll see what else really. Don't want to go commit myself. Um, but if you give a like, a subscribe, thumbs up and we'll be back next Sunday with another video and We'll see what we'll get done over the next week. Bye for now.